Welcome to this channel. It is tutorial day and today I'm teaching you exactly how to create test purchases inside of Go High Level. So if you love Go High Level and you're probably new to it, make sure to watch this video on how to create test purchases. I want to walk you through how to test your funnels, especially if you have payments coming through your funnel. So I'm talking sales pages. So the first thing you want to do is to locate the funnel that you want to test. So you recognize this screen, of course, go into sites and you come into funnels and then select the funnel that you want to test. So I'm actually going to, going to test something that I've been working on recently, which is this funnel right here. So build recurring profits challenge. The first thing you want to do is to take it off live mode and put it in test mode. That's step one. So to do that, you want to go on settings over here, scroll all the way down and make sure that it's in uh, where, where it says payment, that it says uh, tests over here. So if I turn it on here, it says live, right? And so if I turn it off, it's in test mode and you hit save over here. So now that I've saved that, you've got to remember that after testing, you've got to put it back on live mode. The next thing you want to do is to open the link below this video, which gives you Stripe test codes for different cards. So you can see over here, I mean, when you open the card, you want to scroll down. When you open the link, pardon me, you want to scroll down to this section where you can see various cards. So you can see Visa, Visa Debit, MasterCard, American Express, and so on. These are the various test cards that Stripe gives us to test with. Now, you don't have to test with all of these cards, to be honest with you. If you test with the first one, which, you know, is quite easy to remember, 4242 this one over here, it's so easy to remember. You don't even need to click on this link. You just need to know these digits or you can copy it over here. These, this is the card. And once you've tested with one, you can be rest assured that the rest are working fine. Now, for your CVC, which is the last three digits, you want to make sure it's any three digits. And for the expiry date over here, you can see it says any future date. So now that we have this test code, so I've just copied it here. I'm going to go back to my funnel, go to the page where the product is, which is normally on the order form. Click over here on products to make sure that you do have a product in there. So you can see that I have a few products in here, so I'm good to go. Then I'm going to go back to overview and actually open the order form to test with so I'm going to click open here so that it opens in a new tab. And now I get to test. So I'm going to put in some, oh, okay. It's carried over some information for me, which is brilliant. So I'm going to click on, go to step two. So here we are. So I have a two-step funnel. So I've, my information is uh, um, has gone through on step one, right? So now I'm on step two, which is where the order form details are. So my order form is over here, the order section. So I'm going to click on save here or rather paste, to paste the card details, which I just copied from that document uh, from Stripe of here. For the expiration date, I'm going to put in any future date. So I'm going to put in 01, uh, let's say 27. And for the CVC, I'm just going to put in any, any numbers, one, two, three over here. And I already have some details that have carried over from when I was testing previously. And then I'm going to click on complete order. Okay, it says my postcode is wrong. So I'm going to look on my phone and just grab any postcode to test with. This is my local uh, local restaurant near me. So I'm just going to use their postcode for the purpose of testing. So I put in my postcode uh, according to United Kingdom and I'm going to click on complete order. Okay, so if everything goes through, it should go to my next page, which it has over here, right? So this is my upsell page. I'm going to pause this. This is my upsell page. So I know that the test has gone through because now I'm on the upsell page. And again, I could test this upsell page by clicking on this button and it should also go through. So anyway, we know how it works. So my upsell page is, again, it's gone through over here um, to the next page over here. So the goal of this is to make sure that your pages are moving forward and forward and forward, in which case you know that the test has gone through uh, okay. Now, in later on down the line, when you want to check on your sales, you come back to the same funnel and you click over here. You can click on stats and you click and you can click over on sales. Now, this funnel isn't live uh, yet. So no sales, no purchases has um, have come through. And you can see that there's a message in here that, that says all orders or sales on version two of this funnel are available in this section. So if you click on this, uh, if I click on this, it will take me there. Now, your uh, dashboard may not say this. So if it doesn't, then it will show you stats over here. 
and it says this page gives uh, sales data from version one of the funnel. That's fine. This is just for my information based on my funnel. So you may not even see this, but in the future, you should be able to see um, data over here. Now, the other way to know that your test has gone through OK is because if you have emails linked to your test, then you should start receiving those emails um, as well. You, they should start going through to you, assuming you've set everything up uh, correctly. So that's it. The next thing and final thing you want to do is come back over to settings, scroll down and take it off test mode over here. So go back to payment mode, click on this and make sure that it says live and then click on save over here, in which case you have now completed testing and you are now back into um, live mode and your funnel can officially begin promoting. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to click on the link below this video where you can grab our recurring revenue workbook. So if you are thinking about creating membership, subscriptions, recurring revenue of any kind, I have an amazing workbook, yours for free, uh, that walks you through exactly how to do that. So make sure you grab it below this video. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do. And before you go, make sure you check out this video.